All right, guys, this is John with Louisiana Tractor Works and Projects, and we are on the road. Uh, I am on my way to a different tractor dealership. It is the Mahindra dealership in DeRitter, Louisiana, uh, right off of Highway 171, and their name is Southside. But we are on our way over here because we are picking up a couple of new items. You can't guess what they are, I bet. All right, guys, so I'm here at the dealership, and as you can see, it poured down rain. It's still a little drizzle now, and it is sopping wet. Everything is soaking wet, and I didn't wear my boots. I wore my tennis shoes, but because I love y'all so much, I am going to walk out there and show y'all what these people have got. This is what I do for y'all guys, so hope y'all appreciate it. Anyway, this is the bush hogs they sell. These are Mohawk Brave is the name brand. Some really nice bush hogs. My feet are already soaking wet. I ain't even got 10 steps. Awesome. So these are some really sharp looking bush hogs. So they sell bush hogs. All your tractor implements. There's a finished mower, box blades. And like everybody, they're struggling to get stuff in timely. As you can see they got a big lot here. They got disc, land planes. I don't I actually don't know if that I would call them land planes because I actually think that is a brand name. They got skid steer stuff, land shark, augers sprayers a lot of disc tillers mohawk uh, rotary tillers that's some nice little i like how they sleep line these tillers that, that's neat that is really sharp looking uh, and you know they pop them up and keep them out of the water that's really nice of course forks and that looks like a hay cutter and then of course you got your bell spikes your spreaders that's an old one right there that is really, really old. And then your land rakes, then your hay rakes and all that, and all the commercial stuff. And they got grapple. What brand grapple they sell out here? That's some nice looking grapples. That's some mean looking grapple. Woo, woo. Almost busted right there. Ah, I'm strong ag. That is some mean looking grapples. Jeez, man. That is solid. Good grief. So, and this is a different brand of uh, cutter. Agri-X. I never heard of these guys. Uh, they are full-line tractor service, tractor dealer, as well as feed store. Uh, you know, they sell all the stuff you need for farming and ranching as well. All the feeds and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so they are a Mahindra dealer. As you can see, the Mahindra tractor's there. But, after some time, they got a hold of the Coyote line, and now they're selling the new bad boys. And I am gonna get him out here, and we're only gonna talk about these bad boys and get a little bit more information on these. Because this is the first I get to even look at, see one of these up close. I've only seen them on uh, video. Get some info on them. Look at that one's already set up with a light bar. That's neat. Of course, the Coyote tractor's over here. Uh, and I looked at these a while back. I've been going back and forth with these guys for a while. Uh, you know, buying a little stuff here and there. And then, of course, they are a bad boy lawnmower dealer as well. And service. Some nice looking mowers right here. And I actually was debating when, when my skag finally bites the big one of one of these or a grasshopper. Really nice setups. So I'm shocked they actually got several cab tractors out here. This is the entrance. See, they are even the rabbits. Hey, sweetie. Red eyes. Yeah. A lot of feed stuff. A lot of stuff is kept in the back. Uh, they're also a case knife dealer. So that's important. Milwaukee. Uh, they got full Milwaukee display. Everything Milwaukee that they sell. And backpacks. I didn't even know Milwaukee made a, a mower. That's neat. Uh, compressors on the walking, as well as all your service fluids and stuff and lawn care and fuel care and all that good stuff a nice quick hitch of course they sell ptos uh, another big important part of uh the farming and ranching hatch all your milwaukee tools here uh, they got a whole line of milwaukee tools they do have a lot and then boots uh, they sell a lot of boots 
As you can see over here, and then of course PTO shafts, spears, uh, all your ends, odds and ends here, and as well as here, pins and all that. Look, even some uh, crawfish pots. Uh, for you people that don't know about crawfish, or I doubt anybody doesn't know about crawfish any, uh, nowadays, you know, that's a big thing in Louisiana is boiling crawfish, boiling shrimp, boiling crabs. These are fryers. So I, I figured I'd give you a quick peek. Here's some cylinders and that. And cylinder rebuild kits as well. All right, so let's get out of here. Out of here. I'm at my truck, as you can tell, with Emily, uh, some compact nation on Facebook, the wife's truck. So, yeah, all right, guys, so here's the big reveal. This is what we're picking up today. All right, so we've got a five-foot Armstrong Ag box blade and a five-foot Armstrong Ag land rake, okay? Now, there's a couple of things about this that I really like. One is, if you notice, that the, the tines on this is not super, super long. The reason I got five foots okay and i already know um you know nothing more than four foot on the massey ferguson okay if you're running a four foot box and you're filling up to the top four foot's all you want but you, if you run a five foot box and only fill it up to say here you're actually moving less dirt than a four foot box okay so the only thing you got to worry about is your friction on the ground of the blade that's it so you can run a five foot if you just watch your box don't let it get more than a third, maybe a half full max, depending on what you're grading. Just watch it. You can run that five foot with no issues. I have talked to my dealer about this and the service manager about this. Shouldn't be a problem as long as I keep it below half, okay? And the reason I went with this, because this five foot is max of what the, TY, um, the Massey can handle. Uh, it can actually handle a six foot rake, I found out. But it's also the minimum that the TYM can handle. So I can put either one of these on either one of them tractors, the TYM or the um, Massey. So that's why I got five foot to try to straddle that line and balance it between the two. So let's take a look at this. So these are pinned. I know a lot of them sell with the clips in the back here. Personally, I don't like the clips. Uh, they tend to get lost, pop loose after a while. I like the pins that's a personal preference of mine all right it is quick hitch compatible take a look at how it's made he's going to get me to wait on this but he said he believes it's a little over 500 pounds for this bad boy i like that a lot i also like that this sucker is boxed in here you know it's going to make a heck of a difference i spoke with armstrong ag okay so they're out of texas and they are an american company but the cool thing about these guys are these are guys are actually farmers they started off as farmers and then they started making a little this and a little that and started selling them and now they're a full-fledged business of making tractor implements but all the implements they make they test them on their own forms first before they put them into production so that is huge you know that that says that the guys who are making this actually know what they need in that field they're just not guessing because they're they're actually all farmers and ranchers so that was extraordinary they've been building tractor implements since the early 80s so they they've been around for a while even though i have not heard of them uh, i like the fact it comes in red so that's going to do great yeah and this thing will swing both ways and i man, oh my god there is a lot of stuff one two three four five six seven selections on this bad boy both ways that is nice uh look at the gussets in here yes that is really nice you know something else too he he gave me a really fair price on this stuff guys i was i was blown made in texas right there bull here is going to go over some of the details about these tractors this is the first time i get to see one up close and we're going to hear one run do they make their own tractors bull no it's a it's like most of anything else all the tractors are built overseas and they just put their name yeah rebranded you know i kind of watched them for a year or two and uh you know see how they reacted okay uh, all in all, everything turned out to be good on them. They got great reviews, and that's that's why I took them in. Every piece of machinery's got an issue every now and again. So where are the horse powers? Where are they, they max out? Twenty five. Uh, the biggest they make is a thirty five right now. Okay, it comes in a forty thirty five, and you can also get that in a cab. It's a hydrostat. Everything Bad Boy makes is a hydrostat as of now. All right, guys. So we got it running. 
And as you can see, it's a side-by-side -side pedal. It's telling me that there are usually three ranges, two to three ranges, depending on the size. All of them are quick uh, SSQA, skid steer, skid steer attachment buckets and that. Now, do they also, can you get third function controls yeah, on them? you can get third function guard rear remote. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, and that's something y'all can do later on yeah. if you want. Add it to it later for yeah. grapples and that. Yeah, I like the I like the look and that. I, I like how their tanks are low. I, you zoom in in the sky, the tanks are really low. Easy to feel. That's easy to feel. Oh yeah. Especially when it's on a trailer. Easy access. Yes, and I like the paint job on it. They do give them a, a character with the paint yeah. job. So, so what's the smallest you have? The twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, these are really really sweet, really nice, and they run really smooth. Really nice dash on them. So you got a gear indicator put tells you when you're neutral drive. Awesome. Power meter. Alright. Push button PTL. Yeah. Yeah, you can it over there and then push down Start and stop. That's sweet. Cruise. I like this. Uh, I'm gonna kill it for you. One or two remotes? Uh, I think it's a double set. Double set. That is nice. But all right, guys. So uh, I'm going to get this uh, off to the house. And I want to thank Bull for giving me his time and that. Walking us through some of these tractors and that. So if you're in the Dorito area, heck, anywhere in south of east Louisiana, huh? You can come over here to the south side. It's right outside the Dorito, right off of 171. You know, they got all your tractor needs here, man. They can fix you up in any way possible. And if they don't have it, they'll find out how to get you fixed up. All right. We'll see you all in the next one.